Hello and welcome to Mind Body Swing. My name is Simon Selman from swingdanceuk.com and this is number 20. So in today's session, we've got a breathing exercise for you, thought of the day, then we're going to do a movement therapy and really that's just a way to warm up, uh, to move our bodies a little bit in a fun way to music. We've got a dance routine that's gonna be based around the black bottom and then we've got the uh, stretching and exercises at the end. So let's begin with our breathing exercise. Now, as always, thank you so much for joining me in my part of my morning routine. So I like to do a breathing exercise and I, I have a variety that I do and we often do different ones, but today I'm gonna to do one of my favorites. Uh, a classic is gonna be breathing in for a count of four and breathing out for a count of six. The idea is that we want the out breath to be longer than the in-breath. When we do this, we're gonna focus on the breath, we're gonna imagine the breath coming into the belly, and then we're gonna breathe out. And as you breathe in, you might feel your belly rise, and as you breathe out, you'll feel it relax. We're gonna breathe in and out through the nose, so we're gonna keep the mouth closed. We're gonna try and not fidget too much, we're gonna keep nice and still. We're gonna concentrate on that breath. Also though, we're gonna have a good posture. So whether you're standing up, sitting down, or lying down, you want to think good alignment. Yep, no slouching. And possibly even, you might even take this exercise outside and do it in the fresh air, because it's really the best way to get the oxygen into the body is to be in the open air. Get some vitamin D at the same time. But we're indoors right now, uh, so we're going to think in for four. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, out for six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna do the exercise with you, so I'm gonna breathe in as well, but you imagine that count going on in your head. I, I like to I like to close my eyes when I do this. Some people will just focus on a point in front of them and just keep focused on that point. Uh, but I find it easy just to gently close my eyes, just keep them relaxed, not too tight. So we breathe in for four. Out for six. And then we're gonna build up the breath each time, one more count. So in for five. Out for seven. In for six. Out for eight. And you can either repeat that or you can build up. In for seven. Out for nine. Going for the biggest breath we've taken yet. In for eight. Out for 10. Let's repeat that one more time. In for eight. Out for 10. Gently open your eyes. And let's continue with thought of the day. And today is about breaking bad habits. Now recently we've been talking about building new habits. We have a goal and we think of how we can achieve them and we think of a habit that's done on a regular basis that we don't have to think about, that will take us step by step a little bit closer to our end goal. But how about all those bad habits, the ones that we do that we know we shouldn't? Now, personally speaking, this last year, I've been watching way too much TV. And sometimes I choose to watch TV and I enjoy watching TV and that's great. 
But sometimes it becomes a habit where I sit down of an evening, I switch on the TV and I can't get up. I know I should do something. I know I should go to bed. I know I should read. I know I should go for a walk. But instead, I'm just sitting there. And usually at the same time, I also find myself snacking. So I, I sort of i am eating. And again, not because I'm hungry, not because I really want the food, but because it's become a habit. That's the habit that I want to change. And so over the last couple of weeks, I've said to myself, okay, this is the hours and the evenings when I am permitted to watch TV. If I choose, if I choose not to, I choose not to. If I choose to, I can. And on the other times, I'm going to try and do something else, reading, uh, listening to something, audio, uh, maybe just going for a walk, going to bed early, which affects my next day because I get up earlier and I have a much more productive day. Um, it also stops me from doing that additional snacking that I know I didn't really need or want. Um, it's, a, it's a double win. So what is it that you're going to do? What bad habits can you think about that you do on a regular basis that you want to change? It's not a bad habit if you don't want to change it. If you're happy doing it, that's fine, carry on. But if you want to change, or if you want to do something um, something more productive, something with a greater priority, and you don't find time, what can you change? What habits can you change to give you time to build new habits? So can you turn your bad habits into new ones? Write down in the comments what bad habits you're gonna change. And if it's personal, just Make a note of it yourself. Commit to it. If possible, commit to other people um, because that is really a one way, uh, a good way to, to keep that habit. Without further ado, it's time for some movement therapy. So let's go into the dance studio. So here we are in the dance studio. Thank you for joining me. Uh, as always, check the space around you. Make sure you've got enough room. You're not gonna bash into anything. Also, you know your own body better than anyone. Have you got an injury you need to take care of? Are you feeling tired? You know your physical limits, so take care of your own body and do what you feel comfortable doing. If you're ready, let's put Jasmine Blues on. I know it's a tune we've done before, but I've got a new routine today. It's gonna to be based around the black bottom um, that we can dance to it. So we just need to move around and warm up a little bit. Are you ready? <laughs>
inspired routine. We're going to start with a step and a touch and a step and a touch. So it goes like this. A step, a touch, step, touch, step, touch, step and touch. Let's turn around do it together. Four of them. One, step, touch, two, step, touch, three, four. Now take it forward. Step, touch and back. Step forward and touch, step back and touch, forward and touch. Some of you might want to stay there. Others might be feeling bold or you're more experienced dancers and you can add some twizzly feet. You go step, touch, step, touch. You go step, touch. You might swing the arms. You go step, a touch, a step, a touch, step, touch, step, touch, or just basic. I'll leave the choice to you. We do that four times and then we go into the hot thumb. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The hot thumb, classic black bottom. We lick our thumb, well pretend. We pop the foot out, we twist the hip, and we sizzle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. We're going to do that four times. Start with the right foot. One, two, three, four, five. Left foot. Right foot. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. From there, we go into forward, forward, back, back. Forward, forward, back, back. Forward, forward, back, back. The first time slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The second time quicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. First time slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The second time quicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slap, slap, cheek, cheek, slap, slap, cheek, cheek, slap, slap, cheek, cheek. Adding some arms, we get a right arm, right leg. Forward, forward, back, back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From the top up to there, for Charleston. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, two, three, four. You can style it if you wish. Optional, extra, whatever you feel comfortable with. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next, we're going into the classic, classic black bottom, where we drop to the floor, drop to the floor, cheek, cheek, shoulder, shoulder, flat, flat. But let's do the footwork first. We're going to think, step onto the right, the left, the right, the left, the right, the left, the right. Now at the head, look to the right, the left, the right, the left, the right, the left, the right, the left. At the arms, we bring the right arm over as we drop to the floor, and then the left arm as we drop to the floor, and the right arm comes back and we look at the cheek, the left arm comes back and we look at the cheek. The right arm to the shoulder, to the shoulder, flap and flap. Five, six, seven. You go floor, floor, cheek, cheek, shoulder, shoulder, sky, sky. If you're getting old like me and it's hard to get down to the floor, do bend the knees. If you're strong core, very flexible, you can go straight legs if you wish, if you're a professional dancer and you have the core to bring yourself up. But for most of us, 
we need to bend our knees. So that's why I'm bending one leg and then the other for the sliding. But if, if you just need to drop to the floor, that's fine too. And if you can't get to the floor, just go halfway. That's also fine. But let's try it going, stepping onto the right foot, bend the knee, step left foot, bend the knee, step right, step left, step right, step left, step right, flat, left flat. Now we're going to come out with a sugar foot. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jazz hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the easy part. And in the feet, you twist and twist and twist. And twist. Notice that I'm picking up one foot, then I pick up the other foot as I twist. So I go right, left, right, left, right, left. Which is different to going swivels. We've just done flat, flat, nice strong arms, jazz hands as we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's repeat that. So we're going to do it twice through. We go one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From the tippy top up to there. Four chaps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Step and touch. Step and touch. Add some styling if you want, or keep it simple. Step and touch. Hot thumbs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Floor, floor. Cheek, cheek. Shoulder, shoulder. Sky, sky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Floor, floor. Cheek, cheek. Shoulder, shoulder. Sky, sky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To finish the routine, we're going to do some pump, pumps. You sort of lift up the leg towards the hand. So we make a flat palm with the hand, pick up the knee, and double tap. We're going to do that six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. The last step is going to be the wiggle, or the worm, however you like to call it. And we jump up in the air and we wiggle down. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And keep that wiggle going. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just one time. Right, let's walk it through from the very top. Four Charleston. Five, six, seven. Step, tap, step, tap. Step, tap, step, tap. We go step, tap, step, tap. We go step, tap, hot thumbs. One, two, sizzle. One, two, sizzle. One, two, tss. One, two, tss. Forward, forward, back, back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shoulder, shoulder, flat, strong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Floor, floor, cheek, cheek. Shoulder, shoulder, sky, sky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pump. Two, three, four, five, six, wiggle all the way down. And then we start from the top. Are you ready for music? Let's do it. Thank you. 
easy one today, not too fast, uh, but you can try it to faster music later if you want. It goes very well to the song called The Black Bottom, um, but it is much, it can be a little bit quicker, most versions. Right, let's do a little bit of exercise just to get us moving and just to finish our routine. And actually, I want to do some marching. When I do this, I'm going to push the heel off the floor. So I'm really going to push onto the toe, off the floor and down. And cheek to cheek with the hands. A one, a two, a three. Uh, four, let's march, come on, five, six, seven, and eight. Step to the side, kick your butt, side, kick your butt, and pump those arms for the exercise. But stretching the thigh back, so feeling a stretch here. And five, six, seven, and eight. Now take the arms across and open, across and open. Really bring the arms back. And cross and back and cross and back and cross and back and cross. Turn to the side. If you've got a wall to hold on to, hold on to a wall. But I'm going to stand on one leg and I'm just going to swing the other leg forward and back. Make sure you've got space behind you. One, two. Going to keep a little soft bend in the knee so it's straight ish. And just swing the leg forward and back. Keeping the rest of the body. Nice and still. One more. Back legs. There's two of the other legs. Ready? Stand on one leg. Swing the leg forward and back. Keeping the head up. Hold on to a wall or a chair if you need balance. Otherwise, focus on where your weight is over the foot you're standing on. And swing the other leg forward and back. One more for luck. Running man position. One leg forward, one leg back. Get down. Now, we're gonna take the arms into our running man position. And we're gonna go cheek to cheek. And we're gonna run. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, now as fast as you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Faster, faster, as quick as you can. And relax, Whew. gets the blood going. Okay, let's finish up with a little calf stretch. So we're gonna push the calf back, feet flat on the floor, back heel flat on the floor, both feet pointing in the same direction, 
hold on to a big beach ball. Feel the stretch of the back foot. Sometimes I just release that stretch and push it back down. If you can't feel the stretch, take a bigger lunge forward. Make sure the weight's in the front foot. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Step up. Let's do the other side. So step back on one foot. Make sure your feet are parallel. So not in line, but on two different tracks, but pointing in the same direction. Back heel on the floor, straighten the back leg, bend the front knee, push the shoulders back. And feel the stretch. Sometimes we just release that stretch by lifting up and pushing it back down. Lifting the arms up behind you. So these stretches, I know we're not doing a lot of them, but you can put together uh, several of the week's routines and make a longer routine for yourself, or you can spend a bit longer doing them. But they just give you ideas for those people who watch too much telly like me and you don't get up and move, just doing a few minutes every day is gonna make a big difference. And for those of you who like to do this, maybe as your warm up, or you extend it into a longer routine, fantastic. I hope it gives you some ideas, maybe some new routines that you can do. Thank you so much. Uh, for following Mind Body Swing. As always, we appreciate it. In fact, it's the price for watching this free YouTube clip is to give us a like, to give us a thumbs up, to uh, share with your friends, to add a comment in the box. We really appreciate that. Uh, and let's spread the word of Mind, Body and Swing.